guys, welcome to my channel. I am Crystal O, and today I'm going to be talking about whether grad school is worth it. I'm going to be giving you guys the pros and cons about grad school and my personal advice when it comes to grad school. So I just did complete my master's in social work with a clinical specialization. It's fresh on me, um, the experiences of grad school and basically being able to identify the pros and cons. So I know I have a few subscribers who are looking into grad school, who are interested in grad school, and I'm hoping by this video I'll be able to shed some light on grad school holistically so you can see whether it's for you or whether you know you need more time before going to grad school or whatever it may look like but um, yeah so I hope this video is helpful for you and if you are a new uh, watcher or subscriber welcome 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 I hope this video is helpful for you too and yeah let's go ahead and get into this so first I'm gonna start off with the cons okay because I feel like Starting off with cons is better than going straight into pros and then wrapping up with cons. So I'm just going to hit you with the cons first um, and let you guys know what it is because I feel like just go for it. Why not? Firstly, I would say you need to be prepared for a heavy workload. So grad school is not college. It is not college. It's like how I define it is that it's college on steroids. It's like legit steroids. So don't go into it thinking that grad school is like college, you know, you just go to your classes, you go home to your work, you can go out with your friends and like you have a, a social life basically. Like don't think it's like that. It is not like that. Um, grad school is intense and I'm not saying this to scare you, it's just the reality of what grad school is. So it's really important when you are looking to apply to grad school or preparing yourself for grad school to know that hey. I'm going to have a very heavy workload and it just is what it is for the next couple of years that I'll be in this program. So the second con would be that it's very fast paced. So I work decently well in a fast paced environment. So for me, I think I like the fast pace. I think that it was just harder to absorb material in such a short period of time. So my grad school program was a two year program and I don't know how long other grad school programs are, but I think that they're typically around two to three years, maybe four, but I've really only heard of two to three um, being the more general, um, I guess, like timeline for grad school, depending on what you're, you know, um, getting your master's in or whatever you're studying. But it is super fast paced. And even for like a four year period grad school program, it's still super fast paced because you're learning so much material, you're learning so much, you're being tested. Um, and you're having to defend so much material. So it's very fast paced. So prepare for that fast paced nature when you're looking into going to grad school or even applying for grad school. Make sure you're like you're mentally like prepared for the fast paced nature of grad school. My third con was kind of mentioned in my first con and that would be you will have little to no social life. Like I legit lost friends guys. Like I lost friends. Like. It, it's just, you know, people don't understand what you're going through. People don't really understand the intensity of the school or the program you're in. And that's okay. The thing is, it's up to you to communicate that to your friends. And if they don't accept it or if they don't support or if they don't really get on board, then it's going to be really hard to maintain a friendship. Um, so I would just say, yeah, don't expect to go into grad school um, having 50 best friends, going out every weekend and doing all this stuff. I mean... I was involved in a lot with my husband and his ministry and just with traveling for like speaking events or just traveling for f things for friends or even just planning my own wedding during grad school. But y'all, I struggled. Like it wasn't as easy as I, I think I made it look. Like it was hard. I had like days where I just start crying because I was so stressed. So I would definitely um, just let you know like find that balance you know when you go to grad school you won't have time to have like a million friends and do a million things or you will be like super stressed so something has to give either your mental health gives or your social life you just gotta choose so um i mean the wise choice would be just giving your social life because we need our mental health okay we need our brain to be fully functioning all right um but anyways so yeah, I would just say prepare to have little to no social life, prepare to just face your books, like just really face your books. Don't even think about what Suzanne is doing or what Nikki is doing or who just bought the, who just bought the latest outfit or who just, you know, is going, is traveling around the world. Like you will see a lot of opportunities to compare your life to other people who are freer than you or people who seem like they're living and like you're just in school. So 
um, put that on the back burner. One day, the day will come where that will become your new reality, but while you're in grad school, it's your books, it's your professors, it's maybe your bae if you have one, it's, you know, you, yourself, and God, okay? Um, so that's what I would say for my third con. Alright, so now that we've gotten those cons out of the way, let's jump into the pros. So my first pro would be that you get the opportunity to learn about your area of interest. So the beautiful part about grad school is that um, unlike college, you start off with like, you know, learn math, learn art, learn all this stuff that you really are not doing anything with it for your degree. But in grad school, you literally jump in like running, like you jump into the, to the actual meat of what you're going to school to learn. And that's all you're learning, like every facet, every area of that. And I think that's pretty cool when it comes to making sure that you are competent in whatever you're learning and in the field that you're going into. So you learn tons of stuff on what you desire to learn about which is great and that's why I would call it a pro because you are well saturated with knowledge of the field that you got your degree in. My second pro would be that you are able to qualify for more jobs with a master's. I don't know if you guys have seen the research on a bachelor's degree value and a master's degree value but low-key Bachelors these days aren't worth a lot of money in like the working profession anymore. So a master's degree definitely makes you more qualified, makes you more legible, and makes you more competent because they see that you've done the extra work and gone the extra mile to get that master's degree. Specifically pertaining to my major, I initially was doing pre-med then switched out and went to psychology and um, graduated with a psychology degree, a bachelor's of science in psychology. I realized very quickly that this degree was not going to do much for me in the long run and that in order to attain more opportunities, in order to be licensed to practice therapy and to do other things that I would love to do, I would have to get a master's. So if that's you, maybe you majored in like something that you're like, this bachelor's degree is not working for me, sis, it's not working for me, you're going to want to look into maybe getting a master's to kind of help you boost your qualifications and boost your competency um, and boost the level of education that matches the jobs that you would want to have access to. Uh, I would definitely recommend that. So getting a master's qualifies you for more jobs. It just is what it is. It sucks sometimes, but it's like, hey, this will help you get more jobs. I mean, it's not a guarantee, of course, but it will open the doors for more opportunities and more jobs. And for my third pro, I would say that completing a master's degree is a huge accomplishment. I wrestled with even acknowledging it as an accomplishment because I'm very like, you know, um, just I get very numb when it comes to accomplishments. I feel like it's not enough. I could have done better. It's just a master's in social work. You know, I'm very I downplay my achievements. But no, I don't care if you got a master's degree in spelling. I don't care. Like it's an accomplishment. You did the dang thing. You are out here. Like you deserve a round of applause because it's not an easy task to take on. So um, whatever you got your master's and whatever you do get your master's and just know that it is a huge accomplishment and you did an amazing job. All right. So the advice that I would give you would be to really just think about your current degree, whatever you're currently, you know, I guess working with and think about whether you would need to go to grad school. Do you need to learn more about this area of interest? Do you want to learn more about this area of interest? Do you have the funds or do you have a plan? Because loans are not cute, okay? Loans are not cute. So do you have a plan? Do you have a financial plan? Um, are you applying for scholarships? Is the school you're going to willing to pay for it? And honestly, y'all, a tip that I really heard a lot about is that some agencies or some like work environment or some jobs will actually pay you to get your master's. So be on the lookout for that because baby, like why wouldn't you want to get paid to get a degree, you know, and still be working full time. Um, so know your options as well. Can you be in the program part time or, can, or do you have to do full time? If you have kids, if you have a family, learn about how that's going to impact your, your life at home as a mom or as a parent or as a father or whatever it would be. Just know these things before determining whether you want to go to grad school. I rolled right into grad school, so I didn't even like give it a second thought. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's over, it's done. Now I can share 
my experiences. In hindsight, it's always 2020. So I would definitely say ask yourself if this is like an air that you're willing to dive deep into for two years or three years or however long it would take you. So um, yeah, that's just basically my advice for you. I wish you the best of luck. We definitely need more black master's degree scholars out there. So if that is something that you're interested in, hop on board, sis. Hop on board, bro, if, if you're a bro watching this. But anyways, um, yeah, so I hope I could be of some help to you. I hope I could clarify some things to you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment below and I'll make sure to answer that. And share with someone that you know who's looking to go to grad school, thinking about grad school, or is currently in grad school. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.